Hey guys! So today I'm doing a quick little get ready with me because I had a job interview yesterday and I'm going to be showing you how I got ready. So first when it comes to piercings, first I took out my nose hoop and I just applied a very small nose stud. Then with my septum piercing, I just went and flipped that up and the inside of my nose. For my Monroe piercing, I just quickly took the little gem out of the post and just left the post in my lip. And then for my eyebrow piercing, I basically put on a little latex glove and I twisted off the bottom ball of my eyebrow ring. And then after I did that, I carefully took it out and removed the other ball, leaving just the bar. And I just put the bar back in my eyebrow. You can still see it, but it's a lot better and less noticeable than having two big balls on my eye. So moving on to makeup, I just used some e.l.f. hydrating face primer and the Garnier 5 second blur instant renew face smoother and I just applied a very very thin layer of both of these over my face just to kind of smooth out my skin and the primer to make the makeup go on a lot easier. For foundation, I use my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, which I have really, really been liking lately. It's not too heavy, and I figured out different ways to apply it so it looks better, and I've just really been enjoying this. My color is in 125 Nude Beige. So basically to start off with, I just applied a very, very thin layer over top of my skin because you don't want to start out too heavy, especially for a job interview, you don't want to walk in with cake face. So I just did a very thin layer and then just took a damp beauty sponge like this one and just dotted the, not dotted, blended the foundation all over into my skin so I could cover up any blemishes and any uneven skin tones and any redness that I had on my face. Then moving on to a little bit of concealer, I'm just using the Makeup Forever Full Cover HD Concealer and I took a good amount of this on my finger and I put a lot of it underneath my eyes and over top of any really big blemishes that I had um, just to kind of brighten up my eyes a little bit and of course to cover up any really really big ugly zits that I don't want to be visible while I'm being interviewed because you want to look your best at an interview for sure. Now moving on to eyebrows, I'm going to be using a Wet n Wild pencil in the color taupe. This works just fine and it's 98 cents so it's super affordable and it's just as good as the Brow Wiz. I love it. So first I'm just brushing through these little guys and then I'm slowly going to be filling in my brows. I'm not going too bold but I'm not going too thin either. So I'm trying to follow the natural shape of them and I'm trying to fill them in about the same color as my natural normal eyebrows. And this eyebrow is just hopeless. I don't know, my right eyebrow just never works out for me. So basically just filled those in the best that I could and I brushed them out to give them more of a natural lay. Then for face powder, I use my Rimmel London Stay Matte, which I absolutely love. I do have very oily skin and this works perfect. This is in the color 004 Sandstorm. So really recommend this powder. Super, super awesome and it kept me nice and matte. So with a Kabuki brush, I just, you know, put a good amount of this on my face just to set my foundation in place and my brows as well. Then for my eyes, the only thing I did was mascara. So I just took these eyelash curlers by Sephora and I used a little bit of the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume in black and I applied that to my top and bottom lashes. For lips, again, kept it very, very natural. I just used this NYX Butter Gloss in the color Creme Brulee. This is perfect. I didn't want to do a lipstick and get, you know, risk getting lipstick on my teeth and I didn't want to do any dramatic color. So I just took a nice neutral glossy, you know, lip gloss like this and just applied this to my lips and it worked out perfectly. Then just to add a little bit of color in my cheeks, I used this NARS blush in the color Deep Throw, which is just a really nice natural pink color. And I didn't want to do any crazy contouring or anything. I just wanted a little bit of color to my cheeks and this blush got the job done. And it made me look really bright, happy, and awake. Then just to tame my brows just a little bit, I applied a little bit of brow gel. And then to finish off the entire face as a whole, I used my MAC Fix Plus Spray, probably my all-time favorite product from MAC, and I just used this to set my makeup in place. 
Then for my nails, I took off any dramatic color that I had and I just applied this gel polish by Madame Glam to a really nice natural baby pink just so it looks really nice, but it's not anything too eye-popping and crazy. For my hair, I slept with a clip in the night before just to give my hair a little bit of a natural wave. And I didn't, again, I didn't want to do anything too crazy with my hair because, you know, you don't want to overdo it, but you don't want to underdo it either. I just wanted to add a few more curls to my hair to make it look, you know, nice and presentable. So I did curl my hair. First, I used the Tresemme Heat Tame Spray and just you know, sprayed a good amount of this in my ends and throughout my hair to protect it. Then I used my one inch curling wand by Revlon and I just simply took sections of my hair and, you know, simply curled my hair just around the wand, held it for about 10 to 15 seconds and, you know, held them in my hand for a while to let them cool. And then I just had really nice little ringlets. So it looked really, really nice, but it doesn't look like I tried it too hard. If you are curious to know what I wore to my interview, I will have all of that information down in the description box. Another thing that's really important if you do have a job interview is don't go too crazy with perfumes, jewelry, or hair products. I didn't really put any perfume on. I put a little bit on my wrist, but that's about it. And I didn't put any other product in my hair to make my hair smell too out there. So after I curled my hair, I pretty much just called it good and my hair in my face was pretty much complete. So here is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.